hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today is my third video for my Halloween series and I am so in love with this one okay if you guys have not guessed already I am bringing to you the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland um, yeah so so excited so so excited so this is my very first time playing in paint so um, I was a little nervous but I really had a whole bunch of fun so if you guys want to see how I created my Cheshire cat and just keep watching okay so here I'm gonna go ahead and start priming my eyes with my Urban Decay primer potion Starting with the Norvina palette, we're going to go into the shade Love. We're going to work that into the crease and put it really high, almost up to the brow bone. Next, take the NYX Ultimate Matte Palette, go in with that top pink shade, and do the same exact thing. Going back in with the Norvina palette, we're going to take the shade Soul. We're going to put that in our outer corner and work that into the crease as well, bringing it high up as well, but not as quite high as the pink shade. Going back in with a fluffy brush with the pink shade from the NYX palette and we're going to just blend that out. So now we're going to go back into the NYX palette and we're going to take that darkest purple shade and we're going to put that in the outer corner, deepen that up just a little bit. Taking the Stila Glitter in the shade Gypsy, we're going to apply that to our lid.
To blend out the glitter, I find it best just to use your finger. It works a lot better. Taking the color Soul again from the Norvina palette, we're gonna work that back into the crease. All right, for my face primer, we are gonna use the Professional Face Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. All right, so I really need a smooth surface to work with. So for the foundation, we're gonna be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. For concealer, we're gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape. Going back into the Norvina palette, we're going to take the shade Love on a fluffy brush and start working that onto our lower lash line. We really want this look to be blown out on the bottom as well as the top. Using the NYX palette again, going to use that top pink shade to go in the lower lash line. Taking the shade Soul from Norvina palette and putting that on the lower lash line as well. All right, now we're gonna move on to the mouth. We're gonna start with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean, and we are going to draw the outline of the mouth, starting from the lips, working your way onto the cheek, and you're gonna do that for each side. You wanna make sure that you give plenty of space uh, between the line and your lips, that way you have room to create the teeth. We're going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and we're going to start tracing some pointed teeth inside of the mouth area. Now we're going to start filling in the teeth. Now I am using a paintbrush for this. I find it a lot easier if you go in with paint and just outline with the jumbo pencil. Um, I am also using the Mayron Makeup Paint. This is a water-based paint, really easy to use, beginner friendly. It is a little bit more expensive, but I think it is so worth it. Don't worry about making mistakes here because we can actually go back and cover it up. That's why I found it more effective to start with the teeth and then fill in afterwards.
Now we're gonna go into the black Mehron paint and I'm gonna be using the Essence Precise Eyeliner Brush. I found that this one was really good for detailed work. Um, it was only $1.99 at Ulta. And we're going to start by outlining the mouth. Now that we have our mouth outlined, we're gonna go back in and fill in the mouth. Now you really wanna take your time with this, that way you can make the teeth as sharp as you want, fix any of the mistakes, and just really get this nice and precise. Next, we're gonna get a medium fluffy brush and I'm just gonna use a highlighter brush for this. And we're gonna go into the NYX palette and use that second pink shade from that darkest purple. And we're gonna put that all around the face. Going in with another NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Purple Velvet. We're going to begin to draw five triangles on our forehead, the biggest one being in the middle and then two smaller ones on each side of it. Make sure that the triangles are blended up into the hairline.
now I'm just going in to draw some facial marks. We're also going to be creating stripes along our face. Now going in with Kat Von D's tattoo liner, we're going to outline the nose and we are also going to make whiskers. Now we're going to fill in the nose with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Perversion. Make sure you connect the nose and the mouth. Now taking two different pencil brushes and the NYX palette that we were using, we're going to use the purple shade and the pink shade that we used around the face and we're going to do a eyebrow. We're going to do pink, purple, pink, purple for both eyebrows. Now going back in and taking that pink shade that we used around the face, I'm going to take the brush and go in between each stripe and then just blend that a little bit further. Going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I'm going to line the top of my eye. Going in with the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner, I'm going to take this and put this on the waterline. Just adding some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes for mascara. I didn't mean to do it off camera, but I did add a couple dots around the whiskers. And last but not least, we're going to add in some cat ears. I did find this set at Walmart. When I saw it, I thought Cheshire Cat immediately. Um, I believe it was like 5 or $7. Alright guys, so this is it for the Cheshire Cat tutorial. I really hope that you like the way that this turned out. This is my very first painting job and it was so much fun. I really, really like how this turned out, like, like a lot. <laughs> so if you like it just as much, please give it a big old thumbs up for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.